In this video, I'm going to teach you an easy and 100% free way of making extended mixes or DJ intro outro edits. The process that I'm going to show you today is extremely simple and it doesn't require you to have any previous music production knowledge or experience. Let's jump right into it. Hey what's good you guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Deep and this is where I do a lot of DJing and tech related tutorials tips and tricks to help you become a better DJ and to help you get better at using technology so if you're new here please consider subscribing not all tracks start with a beat some start with vocals and some start with chords and strings and not a lot of DJs are comfortable mixing without beats. So learning to make extended mixes or intro outro edits will make it easy for the DJ to mix their favorite tracks. Of course you can go online and download the extended mixes of your favorite tracks but not all tracks have an extended or intro outro mix so why not create one? To make your extended mixes or intro outro edits you will need a DAW and absolutely any DAW can be used to make those extended mixes. I personally use Ableton and Logic but these softwares are expensive and it can get a little complicated for beginner DJs or people who have never used a DAW. So the DAW that I'm going to recommend to you guys today is Serato Studio. Serato Studio is a sample based DAW which was made keeping DJs in mind. So making DJ edits and beats on this DAW is going to be extremely easy and the best part it is available for free download. There is a paid version that unlocks all of its features but in my testing I've come to a conclusion that the free version is more than enough for making basic DJ edits. The download link for this is in the description box please go ahead and download it and install it for free. Once installed open the software and you will see this window here that will ask you if you want to make a new beat or a new DJ edit. Click on new DJ edit and this window will open up. You can see that a lot of the sounds are pre-installed which can be used to make your own music. But today we are here to make a DJ edit so let's concentrate on that for now. I'm going to show you two ways of making an extended mix. Let me start by showing you the first way. Let's start by selecting a track that you want to edit and dragging it and dropping it where it says drop audio here. Once done, the software will automatically analyze the track and add the beat grid information. By default, the first beat in the track will be added as the first cue point, which you can see here and it will also be added to the cue point section here. Now let's go to the beginning of this track and see how this track sounds. As you can see the song starts with four piano chords and then the vocal starts and there are no beats at the beginning of this track. So to make an extended mix we need to find a section within the track which has the beats but doesn't have vocals. Usually this section is in the outro but let's listen to this and find out. I think this is the section where the outro begins. Let's listen to it and find out. Yes, that is the beginning of the beat. So let's zoom in and make sure that this white bar is right at the beginning of the kick drum. Once done, let's add this cue to the cue point section. Simply click on any of these cue boxes and your cue point will be added. Perfect. Now let's listen to the outro section. Super! So if you watched one of my previous videos in which I showed you phrase mixing, 
you would have noticed that this outro section consists of 8 bars which is 32 beats. That is one complete phrase and at least one phrase is required to make a perfect extended mix. But you can also choose to add two phrases if that is what you prefer. Let's just go with one phrase for this example. Now to make this into a loop, just click on this bottom locator and extend it out till the end of the 30 second beat. Just zoom in to make sure your in and out cue points are right at the beginning and at the end of the beat. Now let's go to the beginning of the track and also add a cue point at the beginning of the track and then click on one of the empty cue boxes and add it. That's it. Now that all of your sections are added, time to arrange them together. You can do that here at the bottom. Since we want the beats at the beginning, let's start by dragging and dropping the beats first and then add the rest of the track. Let's listen to how this sounds together. It's good but I think I don't need the piano section there because I think it is killing the energy. Let's just listen again. Yes, definitely too slow. Let's just move to the vocals and add that into a new cue point and add that to the track. It should sound perfect now. Let's just find out. I think that's perfect. Now if you want to leave it this way you can just go ahead and export it otherwise you can add the intro again twice to make it into two phrases. I'm going to leave it like this so let's just go ahead and export the track. To export the track just click on the file menu and then click on export song. Once you click on export song this window will open up. Just select mp3 and click on export. Rename it. I'm just going to call it extended db edit and hit save it'll take its time and it'll export make sure you do not cancel it until the process is complete once done your file should be added to the desktop and that is one way of making an extended mix now let me show you another way. Now before I teach you the second way guys, if you like what I'm doing, I request you to please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Now in the second way, instead of adding the existing beats which are within the track, we are going to add beats of our own. Let's start by removing whatever we did and create new cue points. Now since we are adding our own beats, we can actually use the piano chords at the beginning that we removed earlier and that will accompany the beats that we are going to add. Let's just add the first cue point from the beginning of the track and make it into a one bar loop. Since there are four chords it will be one complete bar. Click at the bottom locator and extend it to four bars. Now let's listen to how that sounds. Perfect. Now let's add that to the timeline and then duplicate it to make it into 8 bars which is 32 beats. Now to add your own beats to this, click on the scenes tab here where it says intro and that will open up this window which is the sequencer. This here is the sequencer and you can add your own sounds here into one of these boxes and play them in sequence but the software comes with its own sounds so let's make use of that. Let's start by making the size of the sequence to 8 bars. Click on the plus icon here until you see 8 pages. Now click on the arrow next to the make and select hip hop and rap because this sound or this track is closer to that. Now another good thing about this software is that the software will make 
the beats for you. It's as simple as hitting on the hip hop and rap tab next to the make and you can choose from the number of different types of sequences that the computer or the software has pre-installed. Let's listen to some of them now and see which one we like. I think I like this one. Let's just add this to the timeline. Simply drag and drop it onto the timeline and it should be done. Now let's go back and add another cue point from the beginning of the track till the ending and add that to our current sequence. Now let's listen to how this sounds together. I think that sounds perfect. Now once you're happy with it, just go ahead and export the song again like I showed you earlier. Click on export, click on mp3, then save it and save it on your desktop. And that's it. So that's how easy it is to make extended mixes or intro outro edits. As I mentioned earlier, you can use this software to create music for free. So please go ahead and download the software. I'm sure if you spend a bit more time on this, you will absolutely love it and you will be able to create something out of this software. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys learned something new today. If you guys did, it'll be amazing if you can hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's been it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy to help.